while I was waiting, the sheriff came back down there and I started walking toward him to, to get some information. And uh, he just, he said, excuse me, it's not good. And uh, that just sort of like ripped the heart out of my chest. And uh, then they, they said that they'd picked up Bill and Jacob, but they hadn't found Mandy yet. told some people that I uh, had boats to loan out. So I basically loaded all of my boats up on my trailer and took them all up there. And having our prayer and devotional before the hike, we got ready to go and I said, well, I have a couple extra boats. Would anybody like to, uh, like to kayak out there? And Jacob said, yeah, I would. So he came along to, to kayak. He'd probably been, been there for Oh, probably three years. Gone on lots of hikes with us. Uh, he was a very unique individual, had an extremely awesome sense of humor. Um, where other people would take cameras like myself, Jacob had a three-legged stool and a scratch pad and he would sit and sketch different scenes that he would see as we went along. The year before Mandy had done it and she kayaked out and hiked back so this year that year she wanted to do it the opposite so of course I kayaked out and she hiked out with my daughter and then we switched after lunch and she kayaked back while we were having lunch um, the blue sky was out the Sun was out great for taking pictures of the lighthouse and it was beautiful I mean no jacket needed it was a perfect spring day well, the, the weather seemed to change. Uh, it felt like it changed right away into the return paddle. The waves started to get a little more intense and the wind picked up. I could see what looked like a squall line at the far end of the spit and it was moving our direction. So I felt that, well, we're gonna get hit with some rain and some wind. And once we ride it out, it shouldn't be too long. It'll pass over. and probably just normal Washington rain and we should be fine. I mean, this is somebody I care about. This is like my family member. And to see her in the waters, basically begging for help, I wanted to get to her any way I could. I wanted to go over there and save her. And all I wanted to do is just try to get my kayak to point towards her. And I tried to force it by rowing on the opposite side, which I shouldn't have done. But that flipped me over immediately. And when I went over, I was in a jacket, a, a winter jacket with blue jeans and shoes. And when I flipped over into the water, it was icy cold. And I was drenched with my clothes and it was kind of dragging me down. I didn't know how far I was from shore. I knew that Mandy was needing rescue but the waves were so high that all I could do is get a breath and then the wave would go over my head and then I could get another breath and then the wave would go over my head and then to have Mandy right there with me screaming and begging me not to let her go, it was horrible. And at, at one point my kayak got hit by a wave and the rudder groined me and when it hit me in the groin, I couldn't hold on to the kayak anymore and then that's when the waves went over my head and I basically drowned. You go from fun to you realizing you're about to die and you have to make those choices. I still have dreams about Mandy and 
being there in the water, if they're screaming and wanting me to come get her and me not being able to. Mandy was a very outgoing person. She was the, the person in the group that was gonna be friends with everybody. I mean, she had a huge heart. She just very friendly, um, very giving of herself. Just, she was a, just a great person. The, everything just plays back in your head. What could we have done different? What, you know, you have a lot of what's. What, what if, what if, what if? Could we have changed something that day and made it safer or made it to where this didn't happen? You don't know. All you can do is take what you've learned from this and use it to prepare yourself for the next time. The knowledge I had at the time, I wouldn't have known what else to do as far as, as clothing. Uh, with what I have learned from this incident, I now have a dry suit. I'm a little more prepared for other, th other types of situations. Anytime you're on the water, you have to be prepared to be in the water, irregardless of what your situation. It can be a beautiful sunny day and everything else, but you want to have preparation to be in the water.